Hello YouTube, today we will be making more relays, but these relays, instead of being single pull, single throw relays, they will be single pull, dual throw relays. This means that the relays have a normally closed and normally opened position. Today, instead of using 1 4 inch bolts, we will be using 3 8 inch bolts. You could also use half inch bolts for your electromagnet, but I think 3 8 of an inch would be fine for enough magnetic force. We will also be using as a base this piece of HDPE cutting board. You can see it was just cut out from one of these poly cutting boards. Just cut them into slices and you can get some of these plastic strips which I will be using to make the base of the relay as well as the top of the relay. Also we're going to use these 3 inch bolts. These are number 10 machine screws with 24 threads per inch. This is a clean bolt which we'll make an electromagnet using 30 gauge magnet wire and wrap it around so it looks like this. This is a piece of a DVD case any piece of plastic that's thin and flexible can be used but this will be used for the part of the relay which flips up and down. Let's measure out how long this relay would be. So I think 5 inches would be enough. Let's mark out the positions where we want everything to go. Okay, how I marked it out was there's already a hole here, so we're good on that. We're going to drill another hole here for a mounting hole. Here is where the electromagnet will be positioned, and here and here is where the support screws will go. So let's drill them out now. Okay, so as you can see, the holes are now all drilled out. We have these holes, these holes, and these holes. We can now start fitting the bolts through. The bolts fit through the holes. The electromagnet can fit. And our relay is starting to take shape. Now, let's cut it off and file down some of the edges and get working on some of the other pieces. Okay, so now let's fit some of our parts into place. Now that we have this essentially finished, we have to cut out part of our DVD case to go over the top of the relay and act as the switching part. So you can see now that this piece will go over these two screws and there will be another bolt here which will contact this part 
being the switching of the relay. We just have to drill out the holes for these two bolts as well as a hole for one of these bolts to act as the contacting part. Okay, so here we are back with this relay thing. You can see what I did is I added two bolts here. These are the mounting points for the relay. And it's also where this piece of plastic is going to go. Right now what we have here is just a normal single pole, single throw relay. So basically what it means is that when the coil is turned on, this goes here and completes a circuit between this bolt and this bolt if you have your wire leads hooked up between here and here. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add a little piece of metal here and then that will add our normally closed position on the relay. So how it would work is when you turn the coil on the circuit is broken between the piece of metal and this bolt. Sort of like that. The reason you can't do it with these other 1 4th inch bolts for electromagnets is I found that they were not strong enough to handle that, though they did make just this normal setup fine, excluding this part. For our little device here, we just have a little piece of aluminum square. You could get this out of a soda can, but I got it out of an aluminum sheet. You don't want to use another bolt here just so you can have more surface area for it to contact. Also, it's flat. It's connected to a copper wire, and this will make our lead for that our position. Let's add some hot glue here. Okay, so now with this part on, all we have to do is secure everything down with bolts and add wires to this position and this position. see how it's wired here. The one in the middle is connected to power while this bolt is connected to one of the LEDs and this piece of metal is also connected to the other LED, the one that's flashing. The electromagnet is currently not hooked up. When I touch this wire to 
this connector, the LED should flip. Okay, so that's a basic overview of how to build a SPDT relay. In the future, I might do a tutorial about how to do a DPDT relay where there are two poles connected separately. And with those, you can make some interesting devices. But these two are pretty useful. You can use them for motor controllers and other things like that, as well as system, as well as circuits and relay computers. But for right now, we've just built this simple relay. It's just once again a 3/8 volt that pulls down this bolt when it is magnetized. You can see it. And there's a bit more structure to it than for the other relays that I built in the previous video, but it is pretty simple. Also one thing to note is that I'm using two bolts here. In the previous video I had one, that was because it would wobble around a lot. But this way it's more stable. 